Damar Hamlin continues to make positive progress. The Bills' safety is now breathing without mechanical help after his scary incident, and he's even talking to his family. The Buffalo Bills tweeted an update on Hamlin Friday, writing, Per the physicians at UCMC, Damar's breathing tool was removed overnight. He continues to progress remarkably in his recovery. His neurologic function remains intact and has been able to talk to his family and care team. According to the Buffalo Bills, Damar Hamlin virtually joined the Bills team meeting Friday via FaceTime and was able to send a special message to his guys saying, Love you boys. So moving on, the NFL has decided to cancel the Buffalo Bills vs. Cincinnati game. The league announced Thursday night, days after Monday Night Football was postponed following the Damar Hamlin's medical emergency. The Week 17 game will not be made up, according to the NFL. The cancellation throws a wrench into the playoffs as the Bills-Bengals game had major postseason implications. In an effort to mitigate any advantage, the league has proposed several options including potentially playing the AFC Championship game at a neutral site, removing any home field advantage. The issue is the Bills-Bengals game could have determined who was the number one seed, important not just because the team would have had home field, but also a first round bye. There are three potential scenarios where the AFC Championship game will be played in a neutral area. Those scenarios depend on Week 18 games, but it's likely a Buffalo versus Kansas City game will be at a neutral site. There's also a chance a Buffalo or Cincy versus Kansas City game will be played at a neutral area. As a result of the cancellation, the Bengals are now the AFC North champions. The Bengals will play the Ravens on Sunday, where the Bills will take on the Patriots. The NFL's plan isn't yet in stone. The league has called a special meeting today where the plan will likely be finalized. The NFL's Thursday announcement regarding AFC playoff season in the wake of canceling the Bills-Bengals game apparently didn't sit well with Joe Mixon, who shared his thought on the news on social media. The Bengals star running back took to Twitter to weigh in on the new set of possible scenarios his team now faces heading into a home meeting against the Ravens to close the regular season. So we're not following the rules no more. Joe Mixon tweeted Thursday night alongside with screenshots of the NFL's game operations manual and a breakdown of the competitive policy for cancelled games. Although Joe Mixon didn't specify exactly what he took issue with, his choice of screenshots suggests it could be due to multiple reasons, one of which could be the fact that the Bengals will no longer have a chance to secure the AFC's number one seed, clearing the path for either the Bills or the Chiefs to claim that spot this weekend. Additionally, Cincinnati, despite being a division winner, could lose out on the opportunity to host a playoff game with a loss to Baltimore on Sunday. Should the Ravens beat the Bengals and the team face off again in the wildcard round, the site of the game reportedly could be determined by a coin toss. Such a scenario, as Joe Mixon clearly pointed out, goes against the rulebook, which states the following outcome in the event of a council game. If a game is cancelled, a team standing in its division or in its conference, example, Qualification as a wild card in the playoffs or position in playoff seeding shall be determined on the basis of its final record. When necessary, playoff tiebreakers shall be calculated according to per game average for all teams. Does Joe Mixon have a point? Some may argue that he does, but at this stage, the NFL appears to be figuring out in the midst of an emotional and unprecedented week. So let me know what you think about that. So to end this video, the NFL is honoring Demar Hamlin this weekend making several grand gestures to support the 24-year-old on his road to recovery. The league announced Friday that all 32 teams will be encouraged to read a special message before kickoff as a unified show of solidarity for Hamlin, who remains hospitalized in the ICU. A scoreboard graphic of Demar will also accompany the pregame tribute. The Buffalo Bills, meanwhile, reviewed Friday they will wear the number 3 as jersey patches on their uniforms when they take the Patriots on Sunday. The Buffalo Bills personnel will also be donning new era hats with the number 3 embroidered on them during pregame warm-ups as well. On top of that, the NFL will allow teams to outline the number 3 at each 30-yard line marker in the Bills signature colors blue or red. Additionally, players league-wide will be permitted to wear black Nike t-shirts that read Love for Damar 3.